Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to create an object detection model pretty much from scratch and I'll be mostly following this tutorial on the Microsoft Docs here detecting stop sign and, and images and we'll be using Model Builder and we'll also be using Azure ML to do the training for us. Alright, so in here we will have a link to our data set. Once you have that you will extract it out and it will have this folder of 50 photos in it and there's just photos of stop signs in there and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a model that not only tells us there's a stop sign in here but where in the image it is so it's going to detect the object in the image and one of the biggest things about kind of doing this from scratch is for the model you have to tell it where the bounding boxes are and that's kind of uh, a bit complicated because you're not sure what dimensions or uh, what what exactly the data that they want for those bounding boxes and then not only that but you have to calculate those bounding boxes but to help with that Microsoft has uh, this tool called VOT which is visual object tagging tool that can be used to help us out and it is I think there is a web version but we'll be using the uh, the desktop version here so we go to the latest release here on github down here we just get the Windows version or whichever version depending on what machine you're running and for more there's also an interesting Microsoft doc on how to use VOT for labeling your images for object detection and so I'll link these in the description and so once you have that you will open it up and it'll look something like this and we'll go ahead and do a new project and we'll create a few things here we're going to call this stop sign detection generate a new security token and for our source connection, we're going to add a new connection. We'll call it stop sign images. And provider, you can go from Bing image search, which is pretty cool. Also from Azure Blob Storage, but I'm going to use from our local file system. So I'll select the folder. That's going to be in that stop signs folder there. Actually, we can just set this source connection to what we just created there. And our target connection, this is where our exports are going to be. So I'll do stop sign target and I'm going to do local file system again. I'm going to select that same folder that I did before. And then I'll do that. I'll set that. I'll keep all of these kind of as default right now. From our local connection here, I found all the images and a couple of things here. And one thing on the right side, we have our tags. And we can add a tag and I'll say stop sign there. And on the left side here of all of our image previews, you have this couple of icons here. So this first one we visited, and see the other ones don't have it yet because we haven't even touched them. If we go to it, we'll have this visited sign on it. Let's go back to this one. Now to, in order to do some tagging, we can just use our mouse here and kind of click and drag to get the region. And we can click on that. And we can go up here to our tag and, and click on a tag that we want to associate that with. All right, and then you see a, this icon change to tagged, so we know that this image has been tagged. We go to the next one. We have two items here. We'll select this one. Instead of clicking on this each one, on this tag each time, is notice that there's a number next to it, so that's a hotkey. So we can select one on our keyboard to quickly tag this item. I'll do the same here and then I'll go through all of these and tag them all right so now I have all these items tagged and in fact if we look down here in the toolbar of VOT we see we have 50 assets that we've visited and all 50 have been tagged so that's kind of a quick way to see that we've tagged pretty much all of our items then next we're going to click this item to export our project all right, so it exported correctly. We're going to go back to our item here. So we've got a bunch more files here. So each time you tag an item, it creates a JSON file. And we'll open one of these real quick. And there's quite a bit of information here. There's information about the image itself. So it's a JPEG, uh, the ID, the path, and the name, the size, and all that. But it also has the regions, so the bounding boxes, and then the points of it there. All right, so we have that, and so I already have a console project loaded here in Visual Studio. So I'm going to do the add machine learning to build up model building. 
and we're going to create an MB config file here. So I do stop sound detection. All right, so it's an object detection item, and you see we can only do it in Azure ML, so we have to set up our environment here. And so we can click here to set up our workspace, and we specify a few things here. We look at our first, we need to specify our subscription that we want to use. And then if you have a machine learning workspace, it'll be populated here. So I have one called GPU Workspace. And in fact, we have it here that I've created before. And then with that, we need to compute. Now, I don't have any valid Azure computes on this workspace, so we can create a new one. And I'll call it Object Detection. And the compute size, I'll just give it standard NC6. And these are all GPU-enabled compute sizes. And the priority, I'll just give it dedicated. Now click Create. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes to create. All right, that created. And let's take a quick look at what that did here. So I'm going to go to Compute. And we see what this already actually created here. But our computer instances, uh, that didn't get created here. In fact, it created in the compute clusters. And that's uh, it's like it's going resizing right now. And we go back and we'll click uh, Create on our experiment here. So we have our environment setup. We'll click Next and we get our data here. And we need to select a JSON file with image labeling. And so we can go to that folder that we use for our VOT project. And in here, it's a little bit tricky because we have all these JSON files. How do you know which one to pick? The one you know to pick is going to be in this VOT JSON export folder. And it's going to be whatever your project name dash export dot JSON. So you use that one. And that gives a preview of some of the data, including some of the tags in here. So that looks good. So we go to the next step. And then we can start training. Notice we don't specified the number of seconds to train because everything's all handled in Azure Machine Learning. And so we click Start Training and it's first going to upload all of our data to Azure to be used for Azure Machine Learning. And now this can take quite a bit of time. Uh, so I'm going to pause here and we'll come back when this finishes. All right, so our images have been uploaded and it's kind of starting to train already. Uh, we can monitor our run in the Azure portal here. Just we can see a little bit more details as to what's going on. And we see that it, it, it is running here. We have a child runs and it is running a child run there. So we can get a little bit more details. All right, our training completed here. We have a, a model. And you can see here, best accuracy is 100%. Now, if you see that, that's kind of a indication that it might be overfit. Uh, but we'll continue on here. In fact, we can evaluate our model. We can browse an image. We can take one of our, our own images and see how that works. So I found the stop sign there. That's 50%. We can change the score threshold. So go back. See this one here is, is not a stop sign. It's only 31% confident. But we say, well, we only want items that are see, greater than 70%. So nothing shows up. All right, so that's one of our own items. Let's do let's go back to unsplash and we'll download a new item that it hopefully hasn't seen yet so let's see i think this one i don't think it's seen this one yet i'll just do the medium one use this image all right so i found this is a hundred percent Confident that that's the stop sign, so it worked pretty well. We can change our threshold. Let's go to the next step and the consume step. We'll check out this console app and add it as console app here. We'll mark this as the startup project. And notice the MB config file came in along with that. And the program just takes one of those images that we found, kind of a, a random image or random sample of our data, and it calls the predict method on our stop sign prediction which is in the mb config file and the consumption and also has our our model file and the onyx model from azure machine learning and notice the input class has the image source so that is the location on our machine of the image and for the predict it just loads the model creates a prediction engine and then does the prediction engine that predict so we can run this real quick there you go. So I found three items here. 
So the first one was a almost 100% score, so 99.7%. The other ones are 30%, so we might ignore those. And it also gives us the label that we can put in, and it also gives us our bounding boxes. So we can use that in our own programs to draw bounding boxes. All right, so that's pretty much how you can create your own object detection model using Model Builder and Azure Machine Learning. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.